A tanka is traditionally known as a Tibetan scroll painting and they really depict the visual artistry of Tantra. The purpose of a tanka is for a practitioner to use as an inspiration and as a visual representation of a method of practice. Because all the beings that you see depicted in tankas are realised beings. And so one uses that as inspiration for one's own practice of Tantra, one's own visualisation practice as an awareness being, or a yidam. A yidam means method of practice, um, or commonly the word deity is used uh, for awareness being yidam. Um, and one uses that as almost a model um, for one's own practice. And they're traditionally painted on um, a canvas. Well, we paint in the traditional style on a cotton canvas, which has a ground applied, of um, chalk powder and glue, which is then highly polished to produce a very smooth surface. Then you put the image onto the canvas in pencil, or, um, and then one paints in watercolour and mainly gouache paint in our tradition. In Tibet and out east, they were painted with um, stone pigments, which each artist would grind um, their own pigments to produce these wonderful, rich, warm colours that you see in the traditional paintings. We use gouache because you get a rich range of colours which are not garish though. What the sort of colours we're looking for in a tanka are the colours of the five elements, um, the pure colours. So bright colours but not garish colours. And um, we prefer to stick to um, um, the more beautiful warm colours. So that's basically what a tanka is. They are um, meant to be transportable. So you can see these ones behind me. Um, they're framed in brocade and they have this, uh, these are called the, the robes of the tanka that you have up here. I don't know whether you can see this on the camera. <laughs> and traditionally they would be carried around. Um, they, they could be carried around. Um, and the robes, the can, the, tanker would be pulled down and then they would be rolled and carried as a, a scroll really. These um, are known as the bird's wings and these tankers could be tied on to the inside of a tent and these bird's wings would be used to secure the tanker so that it didn't blow or move about too much in, in the wind of the tent. So that's basically what it is.